We are more curious about the meaning of dreams than the things we see when awake. Diogenes Laertius. Diogenes Laertius wrote about some of the philosophical and contextual teachings of the Greek and Italian philosophy without attempting to reinterpret or expand on them. Because of loss of so many of Diogenes' primary sources, his work has become the most important surviving source on the history of Greek philosophy. Diogenes must have lived after Sextus Empiricus, which he mentions, and before the revival of Stephanus of Byzantium and Sopater of Apamia, both of whom he quotes. Nothing is known about his life, though. His most famous work, Lives and Opinions of Eminent Philosophers, was initially written in Greek and purported to recount the lives and sayings of Greek philosophers. Although it is, at best, an undoubtedly most uncritical and unphilosophical compilation, its value as an insight into the public and private lives and doings of Greek sages prompted Montaigne to write that he wished there had been a dozen Laertius instead of one. Diogenes divides his subjects into two schools, the Ionic and the Italic. The division is somewhat dubious and appears to be based on Socian's lost doxography. The Ionian school biographies begin with the study of Anaximander, and after that ends with Clytomachus, Theophrastus, and Chrysippus. The Italian school biographies begin with Pythagoras and end with Epicurus. In the late 1150s, Henricus Aristippus, the archdeacon of Catania, then produced an extensive Latin translation of Diogenes Laertius's book in southern Italy, which has since been lost or destroyed. English translations of his work began in the 17th century and continued through 18th, 19th, and 20th centuries. Despite his importance in the history of Western philosophy and the controversy surrounding him, Diogenes Laertius, according to Jean Mario Cao, has not received adequate philosophical attention. He was mostly criticized for writing more on the superficial details on philosophers' lives that even he didn't know whether they were true or not. He often didn't confirm his sources, and sometimes he wrote more about lives than teachings of the philosophers. Thank you for watching. Don't hesitate to comment below and share this video with your friends. See you in my next video.